So finally, Pixel Experience official version is out with the March security patch, of course, based on Android 13. It's been end of the March and there were no custom rooms with the March security patch because of the changes in the QPR2 as far as I know. And now, finally, the new updates are rolling out for a lot of supported devices. If you talk about Pixel Experience, it's there for some other custom rooms. I'm giving you videos very, very soon. Right now, it's based on Android 13 and of course, one of the major highlights is the March security patch. Including this March security patch, a lot of things were fixed, new things were added, but there are no major visual changes to be honest. Only one or two visual changes which I will talk about. Firstly, as it is the, with the March security patch and Pixel Experience is always one of the most stable customers, including smoothness. I'm testing it in Redmi Note 10 Pro and it's actually quite smooth and this is official version. I'm not using any unofficial version here. Moving on to the major change which I found after installing this thing is if if you move on to the network and internet options and Wi-Fi, whenever you share your Wi-Fi code by this, you will be able to see that you can't take notification, you can't take screenshot anymore. Yes, this was actually visible. You can try it out because I tried it in February security patch and you were able to take screenshot from here and you will be able to share that. But right now with the March security patch, it's now protected. So whenever you take screenshot, you will see this black screen. I'm not sure if any kind of module will work here, but right now this is a major change which I found. Another slight visual change which I found here is in the brightness slider. If you're able to notice in the brightness slider, that icon is now a little bit smaller. In the previous update, the icon was a little bit larger than this one. You can compare it easily with the February security patch custom rooms if you're using any of them or maybe even the January security patch. This is a little bit smaller, of course, not a major change, but this is what we have. If I move on to the other options as it is a pixel experience custom room, so as expectedly, there are no customizations added. If you need some customizations in a pixel experience custom room, I made a specific, I made a specific video on that option where you can enable AOSP modes and enable all the customizations. By the way, this custom room is only few is it is one of the few custom rooms which supports OTA updates and works perfectly fine if you're using Pixel Experience Recovery provided from them in their website. So make sure to check out that if you want an OTA update in your custom room, Pixel Experience is a good choice for you. Including the some of the stock things, of course, this custom room brings you some of the features. I mean, some useful things for day-to-day -day life. For example, the network traffic monitor, some status bar icons. Which which you can hide from your status bar, enable or disable. The option is there. No Volti and Wo Wi-Fi icons, but the options, the icons which you need are already present. For example, you can also enable seconds in clock in status bar. Battery percentage option is there. You can customize the battery style, battery icon style if you want to. This was about the status bar customizations, which I found, including this. It also has some of the gestures options, by the way, which you can go and take a look. It's totally easy. If you take a look at the security options, because that matters a lot, expectedly, there is no app lock available. But if you need face unlock, if you need fingerprint unlock, both of those options are present unless and until your device supports that. This is a very interesting thing. At least they bring they are bringing you all the useful things if you want to. Let me know in the comment box if you are using face unlock because I'm not using it at all. I always use fingerprint. Most likely I don't use face unlock on my device. If you move on to the wallpapers and style, there is no new UI. If you're able to notice, no clock style options are there, no customizations for lock screen that might be visible with the Android 14's new update. In the next month or maybe even just around a corner, you will see Android 14's beta 1 and then you might see some new visual changes which I will make video on. So make sure to subscribe the channel for a lot of videos regarding Android 14, Android 14 custom rooms, also Android 13 custom rooms too. You can see live display colors, some of the features which are, added, which are added in Pixel Experience Plus Edition already. If you don't know what is the difference between Pixel Experience and Pixel Experience Plus Edition, I made a a specific comparison video on both of these custom rooms already make sure to check out that too if we move on to the battery options you will be able to see the battery level since last full charge instead of the last 24 hours which is a very useful thing according to me i always love this thing and it's already present in pixel experience so as far as i know this is a good choice if you want to try it out because this is official this is stable you should give it a try these were things I just wanted to let you know. I hope you like this. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.